morning guys i am just sitting down to think about my to-do list of the day and today i thought i'd just take you with me for <laughs> what should be a pretty normal day in my life obviously at the moment i think for every one of us it's not that normal um but we've started to make a little bit of a routine so, i mean both of our kind of like working days now are a little bit different, more so because of Ollie's schedule. And in January, we really were just trying to find our feet and find our new routine. But for February, I think it's only like the 2nd of February, so we're not that far in right now. Um, but we're setting out a weekly, like weekly goals and a bit more of a weekly schedule. So we know when we wake up, what we're doing each day. Ollie is still going into work, but he has Sundays off and Sundays that changes, so you got to be flexible. <laughs> but unfortunately, without a routine, I'm just like an absolute scatterbrain. But anyway, I'm digressing. Today, I have a few things that I really want to get ticked off for like renovations. I need to order a ceiling rose. I found the company that I like. It's local. I can literally go and pick it up. So it makes it super nice and easy. And then also I want to plan the wardrobes, which is something that I have talked about quite a bit on my Instagram. I asked you guys for advice on like more bespoke built wardrobes that weren't ikea and i got so many of you guys saying can you let me know the answer can you let me know the answer probably more than answers but i did get a few interesting things that made me think a little bit more about what we can do and actually one of them was something that i've never heard of or thought of before because we had got in touch with some carpenters but somebody recommended a app called next door which is like a neighborhood app i'd never heard of it but um, they, they'd they asked for like builders um, recommendations um, and found it quite good. So I asked for carpenters and it was actually really good because I found that usually we just like Google search because we don't have that many people to ask about, you know, bespoke wardrobes or that kind of thing. And it comes up with like big companies, sometimes not even in the local area. Like it's really difficult to find what you want. Whereas we did find some like smaller local like one man band people which is exactly what we were looking for so we need to get some quotes from them and i need to like actually properly plan the wardrobes to do that and maybe i'll talk more about that later as to ah uh, because basically i think the, the sim like simplest easiest thing to do is to go for like an ikea carcass and then like and make it bespoke to you either with bespoke doors or um skirting around the bottom just adding trim how you want however Unfortunately, with the IKEA wardrobes, they've only got like quite specific sizes. The tall one is too tall for our space that we're looking for. I will show you the spaces that I've been talking about. Um, and also we want a slimline one, so they do do a 40 centimeter, but we want it slightly different than that. Yeah, so I'm not sure that's gonna be an option. And then also we have wardrobes which are going into our alcoves, which would mean that we would have to cut the IKEA wardrobes. And as much as I love IKEA and we have the IKEA, packs of wardrobes up in like our room of doom just holding things when you cut them i don't think their strength will stay so yeah that's part of my plan today ollie is home he's actually um just about to go and finish off some shelving for the bathroom i might have to help with that and the first thing that i actually want to do is paint the bathroom another coat as you can tell from my nails <laughs> started it yesterday yeah did i just like kind of just scatterbrain at you there i feel like i did but anyway i hope that you're well and finding a new rhythm and routine going into february it is raining here today and i think it's going to be raining for the next week which i think is is quite a bit of a challenge because it's not that easy to get out it's not that easy to do things outside so keeping yourself like motivated at home is important Oh, and we need food today. Like, our fridge is bare, and it's not just... Is it really bare? It's like we have no bread, no pasta, no rice, nothing. So, that's another top thing on my list. So I've been working on the wardrobes. I've been working on SketchUp, which I've mentioned before. We use it to kind of, like, visualise different things that we're doing. And it is 
amazing, but it takes a little bit of getting used to. Ollie is much better at it than I am. Um, so this lady over here is my height, so that gives a reference of the area. And this is our top kind of like landing hallway space. And this is where we want to focus on our first wardrobe area. Though I say wardrobe, but it's more cupboard. No clothes are going to be going in here. If you guys can remember, our stairs kind of like wrap around here. And we've got the banister coming down around. And this, this kind of like point here is where I'm looking to find the ceiling rose for the light that's going to drop down. We're also going to do coving around here too, but... That, that's a that's a future thought for Laura. I'm not going to be thinking about that right now. The wardrobes, or do it? Do I call them cupboards? Because they're not really wardrobes. Originally, when we'd really first thought about this space, so one thing that we really wanted to work on with the house is getting as much storage space as possible in every nook and cranny. This is quite a big kind of landing area, so we really wanted to utilize it. I was thinking about bringing the wardrobes right the way out to where the banister meets, but for some reason that just wasn't quite sitting right. It felt like it was gonna be quite imposing, especially coming up the stairs. We've got a window here, which brings in a lot of light, and I just felt like, that would be quite intimidating for the space. So we decided on four. Four was our like happy medium. I did think about three, but then there's certain things that we want in each space, which I will talk through. And these are a really random height, like I think it's like 211 high, and they're 52 wide, which fits in with some spotlights that we have. I was just thinking, I, I don't know, this is the skirting trim that we're gonna have around the bottom, which is gonna be different to the skirting that will be in the rest of the hallway because our skirting is quite tall. Again, I was thinking it'd be lovely to have the same skirting, but it just wouldn't work. Our wardrobes would be super high because of that. So yeah, I was just trying to visualize whether we could put something in this space here. Either we leave it and it's not something built in and it's just in time, it'll be maybe like a little console with a painting. Or I was wondering whether I could do a little bench seat, but I actually don't think, I visualized more space than that. I don't think that's quite enough. Just thought it might soften the area a little bit. And also I could get some more storage underneath the um, bench seat, even if it was just baskets with like maybe a picture on top. We'll see, but here's kind of where I've got to so far. And this is what the space is looking like. So we're gonna be going for quite a traditional looking wardrobe cupboard. And with it looking traditional and with having coving here, I didn't want it to go right to the ceiling. I wanted to leave it so that you could see the coving there and also have coving. Let me see if I can find a picture so that you guys can actually visualize what I am talking about. But yeah, I think I think that kind of kind of works for now. That gives us a lot of storage space. Now let me tell you what I'm thinking of putting in it. Looking on Pinterest for storage ideas literally makes my heart sing at the moment because everything is such a mess in our lives. I'll show you our upstairs hallway. We've had to move a lot of the things that will be going upstairs into the hallway because we can't move everything upstairs until our floor has, like our floor takes five days to totally dry and set. So yeah, we're kind of in that like middle ground of moving things up there right now. So one of the cupboards is going to be kind of like an add-on for the bathroom because the bathroom, it's a shower room, it's quite small. It has a tiny bit of storage, which is just like an inset section, which will be behind the door. But I kind of wanted to keep that to not just pretty things because, you know, things have to be practical. But I want that to be like shampoos and face creams, maybe perfumes, maybe some like loo rolls down the bottom, but not cleaning products. So the first cupboard's gonna be um, like a cleaning cupboard with perhaps even a mop in there, all of the bathroom spill outs, so cleaning products, but also cleaning products for like the rooms, maybe miscellaneous things like light bulbs, just generally stuff that you may not want to run down the stairs for. I know that sounds like kind of bougie, but at the same time, I feel like if you're gonna be doing those things, like we don't have a cleaner or anything like that, why not make your life easier? I'm all for making my life easier. And hopefully maybe encouraging Ollie to do some cleaning too. But I'll show you some of the ideas I'm looking at Pinterest for those. Um, I will link my pin Pinterest below, but I must admit I'm terrible for like finding things on Pinterest and then not actually saving it to boards. <laughs> So this is basically just what we'd like the wardrobe to look like. If you can see what I mean here, we don't want it to go fully to the ceilings. We want it to look quite traditional. And then I have this one. So this is kind of like the idea of the cleaning spare products for the bathroom. That'll be the top of the cupboard. But then I also want either, I think half would be too much, like you're wasting that space there. But I would like a half to have like a mop or 
Hoover or just, I don't know, some longer things in there. And then I love this one, but I don't think that one's really that practical. They're definitely not utilizing that space. That's kind of more what I'm thinking, apart from the ironing board would be a Hoover and the iron would be toiletry spares. I'm gonna be honest, I just fell down a huge Pinterest hole. <laughs> Got very sidetracked. But the other two, so we're gonna have two, which are gonna be linen cupboards. They're no way gonna look as neat and tidy as this. But for towels, bedding, extra pillows, extra duvets, that kind of thing. And the last one is going to be for Ollie, and it's gonna be a little tech cupboard. So camera and techie things is his hobby. He loves it, like film cameras and bits like that, and he has so many tech gadgets. Like there are so many cables in our house that I have no idea what they do. I'd say I'd say up to hundreds. If you have a techie person in your life, you may understand, but I need somewhere to contain it, and obviously he also wants somewhere to be able to store it all, which is safe and like away from the rest of the renovations that are gonna go on in the house, because obviously once all of that is upstairs and in all the cupboards, we will be renovating the downstairs, and even with dust sheets and stuff, stuff gets anywhere, but I feel like I've spent, I've spent too much time on the wardrobes now. It's really tricky with things like that because, well, at least for us, we feel like putting a lot of thought and time into them because we want it to be able to work for us. And also, we want to very clearly be able to go to a carpenter if we are getting a carpenter or if we're going to do it ourselves. But I think there's a good chance that we might do it ourselves. I say we, but that was a very royal wheel. It'd be much more Ollie doing them. And I'm going to pop down and see my tech guy because he's in the shed working on our shelves. We dug all these out last year, so they're not looking that pretty, but they've come back. How gorgeous. Oh, they are little snowdrops. Some daffodils coming out here too. Hey. Hello. Oh, oh wow. So these are our little shelves. bathroom shelves. Oh, you've done an amazing job. Oh, we've got, we've got holes put in them. Very nice. Just need to have sand. a little sand. Yeah, they've had one sand, but I need to do the, one more little sand on them. And then they're ready to screw in. Stain first, or are we gonna no, screw I them first? No, I think we're gonna screw them in, because we're gonna put them in and then put some filler around the sides. Yeah. So that they're really nice and flush. Yeah. And then we'll stain them once they're, once they're in. in the little <gasps> cubby. So we'll be doing that basically in, in the next hour. Yeah, they'll be in after lunch. Yes. yes. We've got no lunch though. They'll be in after we go and buy some lunch, make <laughs> eat lunch, then put the shelves in. It's quite nice down here, actually. It's like a little escape from the house, isn't it? It's nice now that it's bright. It was tipping it down rain earlier. Yes. And I needed the light on. Yeah. I know, so weird. I, I was chatting and um, then looking on Pinterest, and as soon as I'd finished looking on Pinterest, it was only about like 10, 15 minutes. It was sunny. Yeah. I was just really saying nice how now. like terrible rain it is, but we ought to really go for a walk, but we're dreadful at that, aren't we? Just want to do housework. We are little home hobbits. We just don't want to leave our little home, do we? <laughs> Sorry if I'm out of breath. I just ran up the stairs because I've forgotten I need to paint this wall again. But this is where the wardrobe was going to go that I'm talking about and the ceiling rose there, which I need to measure up for, which is not going to focus because it's basically all white. Yeah, there. And then we're going to have coving around here. And then the cupboard space will go just here. Why will it not focus? There we go, with the lights above. But without showing you too much of the bathroom, <laughs> let's paint this wall. Wanna be free of this heart, yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more, I need you here. More than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow. Yeah, should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again? Hold you tight, call you mine, think about you every time. That's that wall done. I'm only focusing on that wall because I've actually painted the rest of the room. I ended up changing our light fixtures and our plural electrician was like, uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to now cut a hole. You may have seen from our other videos, he cut a hole here to the wood support behind because basically before I had bar lights, which meant that the uh, weight was like distributed in a different way. Now we have quite heavy like glass pendants, so <laughs> my fault. So we had to like patch them up 
um, which actually you can't see them anymore, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, we had to keep filling them, keep sanding them, and then obviously layers of paint. But we did the same for the ceiling and everywhere here, and it's a colour called Bianco by Fired Earth, and I love it. It's got like a warm tint to it, but at the same time, it's got that fresh white feeling. Definitely very much a treat shop, wasn't it? All treat things. Chocolate. Video. Dice photo. More dice. And treats. This. Very naughty. I remember that it's over. Yeah. You never break. Ready to be the first through the house. How cute they Oh no, they need water first. I've got water. It's almost like I can't stop. Can't stop. Yeah, yeah. It's three o'clock. Where did the days go at the moment? I just don't know. You can hear Ollie getting a few things because we're doing the shelving. We've just had lunch. I had some emails to answer. Um, I've just signed with Squarespace again for the first half of this year. So a big thank you to you guys. Absolutely love working with them. Like as a company to work with, they have been amazing. I have really supported my channel and allow me to make these videos every week, which yeah, just very, very grateful for it. Um, but anyway, yeah, <laughs> back to you back to what we're doing now as you can see i did put this in another video which is coming next week which is like a bit of a bigger top floor update um we decided on the shelves here what spacing they were going to go ollie's made them he popped out whilst i was at the food shop to get dowels i think they're called dowels from b q to kind of like plug them with not 100 percent sure but we decided i talked through this in the other video but basically <laughs> Sorry to repeat myself. I had hoped to go for glass. Let me flip you around. I just talked through this and noticed that I'd showed the whole of the flooring, which I'm trying to keep a secret until next week's vlog. Sorry, guys. Anyway, these are the spaces that we did. We originally were going to go for glass, and we actually even ordered little brackets for glass shelves. Cutting a long story short, which I just told you, <laughs> is that they were going to cost £400. £400 for 10 glass shelves, which just isn't like isn't in our realm of possibility, is it? No in here. No in here. £40 a shelf, it was just it's obscene. It is obscene. So we're going for wood, we're gonna tie it in with our floor. So we're gonna stain it the same colour as our floor, same colour as our Lucy. Actually, I think this could be like a bit of a better you might think it's a better option though. Better option. Sometimes things turn out like that. So we're putting those in. And that's what Ollie was doing later. So yeah. Here they are. Oh, I mean that is gonna look pretty once they're once they're all stained up nicely. Oh my god, that's pine it smells you know, insane, isn't it? Yeah, it smells really good. Right, you are that one. How are we gonna hold it level? That's what you're here for. Oh, this. We really are being modern just today. This is. Amateur hour. Real amateur hour. Right, there you go. Where are you going? Number three, there. Three shelves are up. Here's our lovely beauty products that we're putting on for reference. We're just getting very excited. <laughs> yeah, Rob's not going to have those in here. <laughs> but it does give a good idea of how this space is actually going to be really useful. So this is just the space in between two joists. And if you have a bathroom and you're stripping the wall, Make the most of it. I almost wish that we'd done two. I don't know if we could have fitted one in yeah, between I don't think there. Yeah, we could because this um this is attached to one of the to one of the, there, yeah so space. But yeah, this was a really good idea. Unfortunately, we've got another two to go on, but they don't. They're just a little bit out. Just look at 
cut, recut them so many times, and they're always just like a tiny bit out still. So yeah, we gonna do those, and then we can start staining these and making them look pretty and doing your dowel thing, don't we? Yes. So for complete novices like me, can you just really quickly explain what you've done? So we used pocket holes to attach them and that's the little slanty drill holes. And how do you make a slanty drill hole? You have a pocket hole jig, they're on Amazon. Laura can put a link in below the one that we have. There's a whole load of them. And then you screw into it so you can't see the screw head. It's gone all the way back there. It's gone all the way the there. And then you take a dowel or a peg or something, and then you pop that in, yeah. you glue it in there, and then you cut it off with a fine saw. And then it should leave just uh, a flush wood finish. These ones are a tiny bit too small, so you'll probably be able to see the outline slightly, but we are putting wood filler around the edges and then we're staining it, so you're not gonna see it. So yes, that's how they work. Dowels work. So you've cut them into little things, we're gonna glue them in now. Yes, if you wanna know more, Search YouTube for pocket holes. No, it does. Oh, oh no, no, oh, oh, oh. Bit too much glue. Ta -da. One day soon, we'll be showering to these pink clouds. Still haven't painted this, by the way. Another job on my to do list. <laughs> it's now dark. It happens so quickly. <laughs> the shelves actually look worse now, they look really weird. We've got these little, um, yeah, sticks out the bottom of them. So we are going to leave those to dry and probably not deal with those until the morning now that it's dark, okay? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I've been doing more emails and now we're having dinner, which does not look very well presented. And again, I think the last time I showed you dinner, we were having this meal, which is like a chicken and chorizo, a uh, casserole type thing. I promise you, it's not the only thing that we eat. And then we had a naughty dinner in front of the TV and went to bed and I forgot to sign this video up. So thank you so much guys for watching. Hope that you're all doing well and having a good day wherever you are and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.